G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jaboodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, we're back in our Millionaire Challenge, coming in today, 35, which is the next Blood Moon Horde. The Horde is only a couple of hours away, and I've done precious little to prepare for that since the last Horde night, couple of repairs back when my base got a little bit broken, not particularly broken, but a little bit scratched up in the last Horde, so now I'm coming back solely tried to focus on just getting myself ready for Horde Night, which means I'm immediately going to get distracted and probably do nothing for it, but we'll see how well we can go. Um, in the time between episodes, I've gone and put some more iron into my forge to craft a bunch more steel. You can keep going along. I've also started crafting my minibike handlebars and... My new Sammy boy, let's just lock you in like that. There we go. You're nice and ready to go and be friends with original Sammy over at the Horde base. But I went and did a lot of research about what I need to get all of the mods that I can into all of my tier 6 stuff. And basically, the long and short of it is, I need a lot of glue. I need a lot of glue. So I'm going to start being on the lookout for anything that's going to give me bones. Because getting more bones means more sticky stuff. More sticky stuff means more bones. I'm also going to need a lot more springs. I thought I had more. I spent a lot making well, both Sammy and also the mini bike handlebars as well. So <laughs> I can't make springs, which is kind of unfortunate. So I have to go and break down a bunch more cars, I suppose, and get some springs out of that. Um, but I think we're relatively okay. I'll take you with me for the moment, though. And I'll also grab, like, all the excess ammo or whatnot. Because I do want to go over to the Horde base and just see... I'll leave one stack of, um, of shotgun rounds in here for future me to use when I inevitably run out again. I just want to go and see what's actually happening over at the Horde base and what I need to deal with first. I'm sure there's a lot of things that I need to keep on top of that I'm probably forgetting about. But, oh, actually, I'll keep that machete on me rather than leaving it behind. I did keep it on me. Out of habit, I normally put it back into the gyro, but this time I didn't. Drop down to there and down to there, and we'll go have a gander at what's happening. Because I would like to upgrade, like, the stairs that they use to get up to me. I'd like to make that steel, because, like, if those blocks break, then I'm bananaed. So I don't want that to happen at all, especially when something big and bad and explosive starts showing up, which may not be too far away. How are we looking? There's Sammy1. How you doing, buddy? Pat, pat, pat. In fact, you know what, Sammy? Today, today is a good day for you. You're about to get a play, pal. Uh, you grab that one. You have no mods in you at the moment, but I can go and deal with that in a tick. There you go. And then when I put my XP gogs on, which they currently are, they're both running. They're both happy. Oh, that's good. That's good. No one's getting through there now. Not in a million bloody years. Gonna quickly run outside and harvest a tree real quick because I have no wood on me. Because I did just realize... Oh, actually, the vendor. What have you got? You got any dog food for me this time? Nah, you're still being stingy with the puppet treats. I just realized that this is missing a block just here. Yeah, look at them. Spinning around with their smiley faces on the front. Bloody lovely. Grab you. Um, okay, apparently not grab you. I need that wedge shape, that one then, to go in like that. Just to stop any zombies. Like, they could fit in that gap otherwise. But with this, upgrade you and you and you. That means that you are now nice and protected. Same as home is nice and stable. That's really good. I really like how that's turned out. So I do have that steel. Upgrade you and you and all like the real important stuff. That one needs to be uh, upgraded afterwards as well. I should probably do the wall as well, given that I do pepper some rounds into it and do a fair bit of damage over the journey. But that can kind of wait. As long as the main mechanics of this base are set up and lovely, I can deal with the rest of it later. Now that all of that is nice and or secured, really, my only real concern now is the windows. But they are like broken reinforced glass. I don't know if it's actually going to work for me. No, it works just fine. Just beat them down. Can I... No? Uh, what? What? The first time was... What is happening here? I don't even know. But there's this weird window frames here now that I don't know if I can get rid of. Ah, right, there we go. All right, so just like that. Ow! And I'm just going to uh, fill that with regular blocks. Don't need to go too crazy with it, I don't think. Just something to keep it uh, nice and lovely. Although, losing the... um. Losing the personality of the building would be a, a bit of a shame, purely because, like, then I'm just living in a box, and I ain't about that boxy life. 
Go like that. Can I upgrade you to concrete? I should be able to. Yep, there you go. So there's still a bit of personality there. You can see, still see where the windows were. But now, this is a little bit safer. Let's do the ones on this side as well. So really, when I'm at the top of that stairway, I'm nice and secured and I shouldn't have too much issue. Except for running out of wood, apparently. Because my main concern here is that if a cop sees me or like a radiator vulture sees me, then they'll start vomiting at me, which means I'm kind of exposed. But if I just do it like this, I'm kind of anticipating that the two Sammys will be able to hold this down without too much drama at all. So I'm going to keep myself out of harm's way. As long as they can't see me, they won't vomit at me. They have to be able to see where I am to take that shot. So... If I stay covered, we're all good. I'll grab the innards out of this tree as well just to finish off my construction. And then what's left? I have to do... have to put in another um, electric fence for new Sammy. He needs some help as well. Apparently, no zombies have come this way. If they do come this way, I suppose they go in the door here. That's probably much smarter for them. So we'll get up. No, nope, don't fall down. <laughs> I know I put a ladder on the outside specifically for me, but I refuse to use it. Like that, like that. Like that, and look at that. A nice little nice little cavern for me up here. Nice and secure. So I'm looking at this, and I'm trying to figure out what the best way to do this is going to be. Because I need to put that electric fence. I have to go and grab it so I can put it in place and see what the dick I'm talking about. Give me you and you. I've only got two more electric fences. I need a couple more of those, actually. Didn't I get the basics of electricity? It's purely... Remember what I was looking at? And I was like, man, if I ever find out that I could have made something... Ah, oh, damn it. it. It did give me this one, but it didn't give me the advanced electricity stuff. All right, fair enough then. Um, but I'll have to go and buy one from Trader Potato. I think I need a couple more purely because I want to run this. Yeah, just like that. Just there... And I can get my wire tool, grab you, and quickly just swap you over. Go from that one to that one. And then I can run that straight up to one up on top of that lip up there as well. So that both Sammies have a wire directly in front of it that's going to stall the zombies. But the reason I need a couple more is because um, we know that the electric fences get damaged with the last one in the queue. So if I put a couple of extras... Uh, up the top or somewhere wherever as kind of like sacrificial posts then they'll cop all the damage and the ones that are actually zombie facing won't be nearly as damaged so get you copy that rotation can i like yep just them that'll do nicely just to go down and get the wire and run it all up but that should work well the wire is still black we're all good i just need to reach to that one over there yes there we go okay so look at that. So, yeah, so both Sammies have a way for the zombies to stop and prop right in front of them so they can belt their noggins left, right, and center. That is going to be perfect. I think I think we're all pretty much good to go. All of this is looking good. I don't like that these railings here are still wood and not concrete. Where everything else here is concrete or better. So I'll upgrade you guys to get all the textures looking nice. Could have just painted it, but... I've got concrete for days. We're fine. Turns out stumbling across a ridiculously simple base design where you have to upgrade seven blocks and that's it. Turns out that means you have an excess of resources before too long. Uh, you guys can be concrete as well all the way along there. I think we're done <laughs> upgrading the horde base for now. I think that's all I've really needed to do. I do need to turn those blocks into steel when they're ready to be done, but other than that, this has all gone pretty swimmingly. I'm a little concerned. Like, maybe a zombie might get stuck under here and start beating on my electric fence there, which wouldn't be the worst thing. Like, it's not going to completely uh, ruin all of the uh, horde base mechanics. Like, is there still that one there? That's kind of the extra one, but I'm going to try and protect it some way, somehow. Uh, we'll go like that and like that. But you can be concrete as well. I'm running low on wood of all things, but that's all right. Go like there and get you as well. And then I think just like putting some sheets around it. I'm, I don't, I'm hesitant to do it purely because there's another block sticking out like that. And the zombies might try and use that as pathing, but we'll see how we go. Go like that. We'll get two of you and real quickly put you like that and then put you like that. Upgrade, upgrade and upgrade. I mean, that's good. That's enough protection, right? That's got to be enough protection just to keep it nice and safe from some incidental zombie hits. 
I mean, it's made it a bit more complicated. It might fuck with the party a little bit, but that's a, a chance I'm willing to take. At the end of the day, even if they try and use that as a platform, they'll break it eventually and it'll just revert back to normal. That block's now done. So before I go, just upgrade you to steel and you can hold on to that for me. All the rest of the stuff can come back home with me. You go there, you go there. Wiring tool can stay here as well. I don't need one of those back at home, but I do need to go and try and find a couple more uh, electric fences. So hopefully trading next door has a couple to offer me. I didn't want to go on a trading mission today. I would probably, I mean, I'm pretty confident I'll be able to get through the Horde Knight just on what's available to me now. But I don't want to take any risk because I'm getting, what's my game stage at these days? Go to you. I'm game stage 104. So we've crossed into the triple digits. 53 as well. That's actually a pretty good effort given how much I've mainly been focusing on making money rather than just murdering or building. Um, I think, I think it'll be okay. I just want to really hedge my bets and make sure it's all good to go. So... Give me some dollar redos. I've restacked all my safes. So, because now, because it's five high, this is a, a comment that was suggested to me, by the way, like a week ago now. But if I uh, organize it like this, each stack is a hundred thousand dollar redos. So I can read at a glance how much I've got. I'll just take like half of you. The rest of all this garbage can all go away in, uh, yep, in all you go. That one soon. How is my forge cooking, actually? It's run out of fuel. Can I put a bunch more in? You've smelted all your steel. That's good. I need heaps. I just need bloody heaps upon heaps upon heaps. You need five minutes. You've got plenty. I'll get some more iron for you to smelt as well. It's 10 a.m. Time's ticking away, but we're doing all right. One thing I did completely forget was that I should be... Where's the rest of that iron gone? 3,000 there, which should make me three stacks of turret ammo. You, ammo, robotic turret ammo. Well, that's AP though. Did I ever figure out that that was more worthwhile? I don't think it was, was it? This one was fine to do. Oh, okay. I thought it was like one per pop, but I guess not. But I'll still craft a thousand of you because you're worth a fair bit of coin and it's just extra thousand dollar reduce to stack onto the pile. Not going to turn it down. Um, Did I sell my tier five orca yet? I think I did. I'm still rolling with that tier two, aren't I? All right, well, in that case, real quick, give me you, give me that one, uh, leather, I think it was, and, no, that was wood I just grabbed, that was silly. How what the other part was, I want to make myself another set of handlebars, purely so I can make another tier 5 auger, because if I'm going to need more iron, I need an auger to do it. Springs and duct tape. Damn it, why does everything in the world need springs and duct tape? It's like an apocalypse or something. Auger's gonna take a couple of minutes to do, so you can get crafting while I go and stash the rest of this gubs away and go see Trady next door. Hold on to that for me, hold on to that for me. I'm gonna need a lot more steel before too long. Um, what do I do with the Magnum? That's up here. I'm gonna be buying some stuff. I may as well get a discount for it. Give me you. You just hang out there for a second. Add a cheeky one of you as well. What am I missing out of you? How have I forgotten that already? I took something. Oh, it's the motorcycle. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's just hanging out down the bottom down there for some easy transportation for me. No use flying about and potentially pressing E and killing myself. Uh, Magnum, open the door. Always check your vendor in case you've got something good for me, which you don't. In fact, I should make. I need to remember myself some uh, learning elixir before Horde Night. It only takes a couple of seconds to craft. I just need to remember to do it. Uh, do you actually have what I'm after, though? Before I eat my, uh, my sugar butts. Time a relay. That's probably the wrong thing to be searching. What about, like, fence? No? Damn it. Really? Do you not have... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What about your secret stash? Do you have anything good for me in here? Uh, no, you don't either. That's mildly concerning and not really Thanks, what I was anyways. hoping for. You be careful out there. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go and see the other tradies. I didn't want to do that today, but I don't really have a choice anymore. Shit! I've got that learning elixir getting done now, so I don't forget to do it later. Thank you. I can now turn you off. The rest of you can go away. Back in you go. Uh, I'm a little bit peckish, so <laughs> eat an entire pot of meat stew. Get that into ya. Um, uh, right. I'll take, actually, the rest of you, and I'll just double check across the road that maybe has some glue or some springs or things that I might need to buy. Because we're going to the traders anyway. I may as well see what they've got for me. There is the cicadas rubbing their legs together to signify that it's midday. 
Oh, my org is done. And I want to craft... Mm, I want to craft some more... um, Some more turret ammo. Get you. Modify you. Take that one. Do I have any other mods that go into an org? Um, that one will do. Uh, I think most of the other gubs I've put into various things to sell. Can I commandeer one? What have you guys got? You've got... Ooh, that one. I think I'd rather have, if any of you have it... You guys got like a rock... Uh, not a rock busters. A, um... What's the thing it called? It means you can uh, break stone easier. A bunker buster? That's the one. And if you guys got a bunker buster? No. Well, that's heckin' rude, isn't it? Fine, I'll take the spade one then. My iron mine is just there, but before I go down and deep and dirty and start breaking down all of that stuff, I am hyper aware that screamers will be showing up before too long. And now that I have max level robotics, I'm going to quickly run back here. Hop, skip, and jump up there. G'day, Sammys. I'll give you a pat in a second. Just a man on the mission at the moment. Didn't I have a Terry? I definitely did because there's the turret for him hanging out in here. In fact, that's another another stack there. Look at that, $2,500 for it. How have I lost Terry? Did I take him home and then sell him? Did I sell Terry? Uh-oh. Uh oh, did I abandon my friend and give him away for a couple of dollar redos? Am I the Judas of the robotics? Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> I feel a little embarrassed about that. I may have left him at home then, I'm not sure. I'll have to go and have a squeeze because I kind of want him to watch my back. I've abandoned him and now that I need something from him, he's left me high and dry. How heckin' rude of him. How dare there be consequences for my actions? Yeah, he's gone. He's well bloody gone. Can I make a, uh, a new one? Junk turrets, robotic turrets. You, I don't have this. Despite, wait, what the fuck? So I'm maximum level robotics. I can't make a Terry? Huh. I don't know what I've done from him. I, I don't know what I did. I, a, a past Josh may have decided to sell him and I kind of regret that decision now. So if that was the case, then I'm heckin' sorry, Terry. Please forgive me. Oh, I'm thinking about it though. Give me all of you so I can quickly just repair all of you guys and get some more dollar redos for you later. Like that. In fact, you're another AK, which might actually be better than the one over at the Horde base. Might have to double check that before I sell you, given I'm now apparently in the mood for selling all the things that are actually valuable to me. Or you guys go back into them. Uh, that one too. All right, I think... I'm just going to have to deal with it the old-fashioned way and put a shotgun around through a screamer's noggin if she does show up. That's a little embarrassing. That's not great by me. <laughs> okay, well, can't do much about it now. Let's just get it going because time is ticking away. Go like that and up and in and down. That works much better than it used to. All right, nice. Um, I do have as well... Oh, that's a long way down. I've got my Rockbusters and my coffees. Now, people were... I left my fucking fuel up there, though. Silly. Real bloody silly, Josh. All right, well, back up we go. People were asking why I take coffee with me and drink coffee when the auger doesn't use stamina. Uh, it's because I do have the book read that means that I can get uh, an extra 10% yield. There's no gas in my bike either. It's all up in my gyro. I get an extra 10% yield for being buzzed by coffee while I'm mining. So I'm not uh, drinking coffee for the stamina regen. I'm drinking it for the extra um, return of investment. All right. I think I'm finally ready to go. I'll pick you up and take you with me just in case the screamer does show up. Because I really don't want you to... um <laughs> a screamer gets stuck on you and break my bloody bike. We'll just start over here, I suppose. All right, so I've got everything that I need. I'll quickly refuel you. Got 10,000 gas. Won't get through it. Got repair kits as well. So I'm pretty much set. I can get three of you stacked at a time, can't I? I think. Yep, there we go. Six minutes. All the way up to nine minutes. And then we'll pop you. Nice. That's going to give me as much of you as I can possibly get. So now, it's just a matter of me burning through and getting everything I can. The thing that I am missing, though, is the um the max level of or the final level of the mining books, which gives you a chance to one shot an ore, which means every time you clip it with an auger, it has a chance to insta break, which is what your body wants. I don't have that. It's so gonna do it the old fashioned way, although medium fashioned way. I don't know. It's not using a blunt rock, but it's also not being as efficient as possible. I'm almost out of fuel. I've gone two full, like, even, like, modded, bigger tanks of gas. I'll just finish off those last couple of blocks there. Got some extra silver nodes as well. Finish you. Nice. So I've got, what's that, 16,000 iron out of all of that. So a fair bit and some cheeky nuggies as well to sell. 
Um, I'm gonna waste the last couple of like minutes on my coffees and my Rockbusters candy. I've dug a long bloody way down. Can I get out of here now, please? I don't even know what the, what the exit strategy here is. Oh, not that way, I don't think. There you go, up. Well then, okay, that changes some things a little bit. I now very quickly need shit get up there and kill her before she starts squawking. Up we go, right up. Did I get you in time? I think we did. Half me spikes are broken though, so you might have been the second screen with a showed up actually. There was definitely spikes there before. Okay, well, that does the trick, I suppose. We got the job done. I can quickly go upstairs and make just put like a bunch more junk turret ammo on the craft. That's what I really wanted it for. Put some more into the forge as well because I need lots of steel. Uh, and then what's the time? It's four o'clock. Four o'clock, a little bit of time before the horde shows up. You can have like have all of that actually. Have that one and have that one. That weirdly rounds out to almost exactly three thousand. That's a weird little quinky dink. You can have like 20 minutes of fuel. That should be enough. Get your crafting and get you cooking. Uh, the rest of that stuff can all go into here. You're not crafting anything. Ammo, I would like. Ooh, I can make it more efficiently. Interesting. How much is in a box? I don't actually bloody know, but all right, that works for me. I'll get you crafting away. I'll hold on to the rest of that iron for later in case I need it for other endeavors. You can just hang out in there, put all you guys away. Uh, Nuggy boys go into that one. All right, let's get all our shit in order. Put the shotgun away before you break your bloody house, though, because you kill buildings just as easily. And then we can go and see the traded potatoes, because there's things to be done, things to be bought, and electric fences to be wired up. Before I go anywhere, I just want to quickly double check you. Do you have any glue? No. Do you have any springs? That's how you spell that. No. Uh, we'll check in here as well. Just because that's what's really letting me down for my, um, what should I call it? For my mod Thanks making anyway. ability. So just want to check thing. those. Check this one. Springs, no, and glue. So neither of your secret stashes have what I'm after. Sorry, I didn't have what you needed. I'm you sorry I didn't have what I needed too, and I will come back soon because it's Trady Potato Day in a little bit. Is it tomorrow? Might have been tomorrow. Oh, this is really late, Josh. This is really late. This is particularly clever to be going off on a big whirlwind, whirly bird adventure. Oh, with the horde not too far away. As long as I keep track of the time and like maybe like let's call it like 7.30 is my hard cut wherever I am in the world. Guess 7.30 I have to leave and go home. The last thing I need is to be flying back to my horde base with gigantic super vultures chasing me because I mistimed my exit. Put down the gyro nice and gently. Oh, nosed up a little bit too much. Leave you there. Go and check the vendor over here real fast to see if you do have any dog food. You don't, but I'll take those. Uh, I've got lots of red tea back at home, and I think I have the ability to make them to see chrysanthemums, so that's not too much of an ask. Jolly boy. I've come a long way. Well, not really a long way, but a fair distance to come and talk to you. Um, nothing in there. Oh, it's all after. I'm after books and electrical fences. Your money is welcome I'm wearing the wrong specs. Quickly change it over. Talk to you. Uh, fence. Electric fence post. That is what I'm after. All right, that'll you do me. That'll do me. Might only save me a couple of dollar redos, but it's worth the attempt. Fences, take all of those ones. Thank you very much. Do you have any books that I haven't read? Rocket launcher schematic. No, no, and no. Fair enough then. Quickly check that. Nothing in you. Do you have glue? No. Do you have springs? Yes, you do. 500 bucks for 24 springs. That works for me. I need like 300 of them, so I'll take them if I find them. While I'm here, I'll grab that. I'll also grab... Lockpicks are still heckin' expensive. And they're... Yeah, 100 bucks a pop. No, thank you. I'll take that one. Uh, I'll take the bullet tips. Did I see duct tape? I did see duct tape. Yeah, right. I'll buy lots of duct tape to save myself wasting glue to make those later. That's just smart cricket. Uh, and nothing else really getting me excited around here. I don't think there is. I'll take those. I don't think I have any right now. And I think that's just about it. I don't think I need anything else in here. Those are expensive mods. Don't want those ones. Yep, I think it's that's all. Okay. Pleasure. Well, it's about to be more of a pleasure. I'm coming in for seconds. If you thought I was done the first time, my refractory period is about the blink of an eye. I mean, everything about me is a blink of an eye, really. 
Learning Elixir recipe. I got excited, but I don't need that one because I've already got it. Now, nah, I think Maybe we're good. All right. Time. Yep. Happy travels, survivor. Happy travels to you too, Jigglypuff. I'll see you in a little bit, assuming I survive. At six o'clock, I've probably got time to do the next two traders up the top, but not really much more than that. I don't get too far away from home. I still have to go back to my house. Uh, get my learning elixir and craft some more if I find some freaking dog food anywhere. God, thank God you can't tame wolves in this goddamn game because if you're good, they'd die of starvation given there's no food for them anywhere. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That descended. Oh, God, I'm flying a helicopter in a bloody lightning storm, which is not especially clever. That fog and all that nopeness just descended in the blink of a freaking eye. It's 10 to 7. I said 7.30 was my hard cutoff, but I don't think I'll be able to get out of here with an... Oh, that was dog food. With enough time. Oh, I know, Zeus. Come, you freaking ass cheeks. Put on some chaps that actually have an ass on them and calm your freaking farm. Uh, what do you have for me? You've got a Grave Digger mod, which is actually uh, pretty expensive, actually. Never mind. You can hold on to that one. Quickly check. Do you have more fences? No, you don't. All right. Anything with a closed book, not especially. I can make those, although 91, 100 bucks to make like 400, that seems worthwhile to me. I'll grab you. Uh, no schematics there. Compound bow schematic. Ooh, Art of Mining Volume 7. I can craft lanterns. And more importantly, that might be the last one in that series. So absolutely give me that one. Nothing else around. All right, I'll quickly check your regular stuff then. Chili dogs, no thank you. No, don't really have a great appetite right now. I'm more stressed than anything. Glue, give me all of you. Nice. Um, Anything else going to be of value to me? Doesn't really look like it. Got any springs? No. Okay, oh, well, are you the last book? Like you fucking were the last book too. I'm annoyed I did my mining this morning there when I could have got extra goodness out of it. Uh, what was it? Mining? Art of Mining. It's the first one. 20% chance to one-shot any ore. That's exactly what I was talking about before. That's all right. Grab you. Check your not-so-secret stash. Anything exciting in this one? Antibiotics recipe? No. Great heist book I haven't read. I will buy you. Thank you. Mm, nothing else. Getting my tiplets all jiggly. I think we're fine. I think we're all good to go. I think that's going to do us. I'll buy... Where was it? I'll buy you just in case because I'd rather have it and not need it. That was the last book in that series too, which was The Great Heist. I can now... Uh, bold craft lockpicks. Wait, learn how to craft lockpicks and break into saves 20% faster. I already knew how to craft lockpicks. Oh, well, whatever. Yep, no, nope, cheers, biggies. It is now 7.30. Time for me to get cracking. There may be lightning in the sky and dread on the horizon. But Jiroboy is going to get me home. Need to go get my learning elixir. I now have one more dog food, which means I have enough to craft one more learning elixir before it all kicks off. Let's get cracking then. Let's get cracking. Time is of the essence, Josh. Time to get booking. God damn, it's murky out here. It's like swimming through a muddy fishbowl. I cannot see the ground at all. The marker over there is for the apartment building. That's kind of the only gauge of distance that I have. I might start pointing my nose down and dipping further into the soup, the tomato soup that is below me. I just need to see some trees or any signs of life because trying to land on the square footage of my roof when I can't even see where I am is going to be heckin' difficult. All right, let's go down a little bit faster because we're a long way up, apparently. It's a quick way to go down, but I'd like to survive when I hit the bottom. Don't want to add more blood. Oh, there's some trees over there, actually, so level out a little bit. Oh, there we go. How the, how the dick am I meant to land with this kind of visibility? This is like flying by instruments, but way worse. Damn it, I was hoping I could cut through there. Turns out I can't. I'm upside down. This is not what I need right now. When I'm running out of time, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in a freaking tree. You can climb trees later. Get the shit out of here. There's the horde base. So I kind of know where I am. My house should be just over here. None of the lights are spawned in. None of the anything is spawned in. Go nice and slow. Oh, I'm basically on the right altitude, actually. That's going to work out wonders for me. Just like cruise on over the top. That'll do. That'll bloody do. It's quarter to nine. Okay, real fast. Uh, I need to grab... Where is it? I need to grab you. It's red tea. It's frothies and acid, I think it is. There we go. 
Um, learning elixir, please. Yep, sure. Craft one of those. Not sure why it's giving all of these options. That's clearly not what I'm after when I'm in my freaking campfire. Um, nice. Grab that one. Okay. Sort out all this stuff. Get it all off me and get cracking, Josh. You still need to put in your freaking extra electric fence, which you're not going to have time to do. Go like that. Go like that. Yep, sure. Ask and go back in there as well. You guys hold on to all of that for me. Learning list that comes with me. Dollary dudes can hang out in here. Uh, you can go in there too. That needs to stay here, actually. Okay, I think I'm about as ready as ever. My motorcycle is back up in my gyrocopter. Grab you. That one. That one. Come with me, please. Just, like, chuck you down there. That's fine. That's fine. We'll just, like, dick ourselves off the roof and hope we don't die. Yep. Nah, perfect. All right, let's get cracking. Hopefully, I haven't forgotten anything back at the base. Because if there is, I'm, well, I can't get it now. There's no mods in second Sammy. But fuck it. He'll have to just do it by himself. I'm up, I'm good, I'll close those doors, and before I forget everything else, turn on you, turn on you as well, because why not, get both of you guys closed, okay, so, my normal loadout needs to go in here, all of you guys, those ones too, motorcycle, shawl, back and stay with me, shotgun can stay with me, uh, you can go away, okay, oh wait, hang on, uh, these need to go away as well, I'll wear you, put you away, those ones all need to go to go to zero and grab all of you okay let's figure this shit out i need that one i need my electric fences and i need to shit what do i do with my with my frames it's still going to be kind of handy what's the time getting late on all i really want to do is just put in but i might be able to do it like this let's go in here grab wherever they've gone oh i've had one already and just like stick them like this actually so i can do my repairs in this side of the room because now you should all be good to go give me shit ah give me that one go from you into here and go along like this so these ones should be the sacrificial ones these ones should break down before the others do so i'll keep my main electric fences running as well as possible ak come to here or could repair you and repair you um you can go away i'm not particularly hungry nor thirsty but i'll drink you up anyway so, oh, i left my other learning elixir at home shit i left my other learning elixir at home we're gonna have to go with the single that we brought over with us damn it me there is the nighttime sound, which means the horde is showing up whether I'm ready or not. You guys go away. Need my pipe bombs. Just like that, actually. Okay. Well, here we go. XP gogs are on. Uh, learning elixir is in. I'm also going to eat my, um, my skull crushes. How are you guys doing? So that's what I was kind of worried about. That it would kind of knock the zombies back into the way of all the other ones coming up. Which means it's less effective. That's a nice big group. Let's just throw some bombs down there and make it easier on Sammy. Perfect. Bonds mate, level up. Two skill points to spend. Oh, I forgot about that. That was 11,000 experience just out of that one. I can't go to the next level of perception, but I can go. Oh, actually, we'll go like this. We'll go you and then a level of, de of uh, demolitions. That will make everything better. I can get my next point into um, uh, looting later on. That's less important right now. Right now, it's all about killing zombies and laughing at their demise. So Sammy's actually doing a pretty good job of, like, fucking up that wall he's standing next to. So why don't we need to replace those blocks then with either, like, wedges or, like, wedge corners or something? But that's a wedge and that's a wedge. That should be a wedge corner. That should work out well. Just to get rid of that little lick there that Sammy seems to be having trouble with. Chuck a couple of bombs down. Explode a couple of Jeffs. That's all good. We're all fine. We're all good. Haven't heard any turrets going bananas upstairs just yet, so I think we're all right. So really, all I have to do is just keep throwing bombs down. Sammy will take care of most of the extras that I need to worry about. I mean, this is still like double horde as well. Like, these are big hordes that are coming through. I see some gods, which is a little bit concerning. There's a vulture getting murdered, but for the most part, this is pretty much handleable. As long as I keep crowd control up and about, yeah, we'll be fine. So far, we're looking... <laughs> she just got laid the fuck out. Sammy 2, that's, that's something Sammy 1, I think. Saw her coming, bonked her straight in the schnoz, and she went down like a decomposing sack of shit. I enjoyed that immensely. 
Bombs are doing the trick. 12,000 experience out of that. And trying to make hay while the sun or the lonely elixir is shining. I'm annoyed that I forgot mine, uh, my extra one back at home, but that's okay. We'll deal with it as we can. Bombs are cheap. I don't need to worry about it. I've only got 15 of them left, so maybe a little bit more sparing, Josh, wouldn't be a terrible idea. But maybe even, okay, maybe for the most part then, until it gets a little bit more crowded, I'll just go back to firing a couple of rounds into the crowd like that, trying to hit headshots where I can, just to tick over the zombie horde a little bit better. The cop shows up, I can rinse him. But just going like this, aiming for a, whatever gelatinous mass is moving down below me, will be fine. It's like going down to the corner store to ask for a sausage roll. No worries at all, Max. There's only 20 seconds left of my learning elixir, so I want to try. I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to do it right and get like one big boom just to really make the most of it. Get as many zombies in here as I can. Lace the floor with a couple of bombs. Seven seconds left. There's one there and another one right in the guts. I should kill everyone downstairs. Perfect. Right at the last. <laughs> hey, bud. Want to cop a little bit of this? If I, hang on, hang on two seconds. You've come all this way. Got to make it really worthwhile for you. Um, you took my explosion. Now you can take another one. Might as well repair you, actually, and put you back on my thighs. Can I repair half? <laughs> half of my armor is mostly broken and not full of mods. Because I've been too busy focusing on everything else. I could sell these things for a fair amount of coin later on. But for now, just keep my titties nice and warm, please. There we go. All right, learning Lisa has worn off, so back to normal. I'm annoyed that I left my extra one back at home. That was real silly of me. I'm not too far away from the next level up. I'll just chuck a grenade down just to do the last of my dirty work. There you go. Oh, I only killed a couple of them, actually. That was pretty bang average. There you go, have another one then. Can't do it once, so I'll do it again. Perfect. I love that Sammy keeps bonking zombies down into the blast radius of the bombs. So, like, even if they try and escape, Sammy's there bitch slapping them down like he's freaking Shaquille O'Neal protecting the hoop. I'm gonna start calling a Sammy O'Neal in a second. Look at him. They're all coming in, though, streaming in. I know this is like, I mean, this is one of those occasions where, like, their new pathfinding stuff kind of makes sense because, like, yeah, if they were dumb. Like, even though they're dumb zombies, this is the only way for them to get to me. They wouldn't go and try and destroy the building. So it kind of makes sense in this fashion. I don't really feel like I'm exploiting them, just trying to play it smart and making them come to me. Why play on an equal footing when I can just be better than you? There we go. Bonds made level 55, one skill point to spend. That's a bit of a group down there as well. Might go the old double bomb, just if we can. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Huh. All right, well, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I hit like the lip of that or the pole or something and almost blew myself to smithereens. That was uh, that was a moment where Josh knew he fucked up, dropped a freaking grenade in his foot and had to boot scoot my baby out of the bloody room. Oh, that was terrifying. Well, if my heart rate wasn't booking it already, it's up in the triple figures by a long way now, almost into the fours. I, my heart rate is duplicating my dollar do count right now. My AK needs a bit of repairing, so I could just do the job on that. I like that. I mean, I could even just have this as an AFK base. Like, with the two Sammies there and the electric fences, I'm not really required to do a whole lot of anything, to be honest, other than just, like, throw a couple of bombs every now and again. Make sure to accidentally throw it at your foot again. There we go. Another 10,000 experience there. You all the loot bags are waiting for me down there as well. It's 10 to 2. We're probably not too far away from the end of the horde. I tell it back, actually, it's day 35, so I think the zombie count, I mean, the, that's when we're, like, upping how many zombies show up in each horde night, is that you burn through the allotment of zombies for a horde a bit faster, but I think now that I'm far enough into the game, this should be a constant horde all the way through to 4 a.m. I mean, I'm fine, you know? I'm gonna have to repair those blocks down there, I think, and get rid of that one there, but other than just a bit of maintenance, this is all fine. Sammy's got this covered. Um, excuse me? You what? Is there? Oh, there's like a little lip down there. Okay, I need to think. I need to remember to go and get rid of that lip next time around because the zombie can apparently land on that and cause me some issues. That was my last bomb. I'll open you because I need some extra ammo. Might have to go to shotguns in a second though. I'm trying to refrain from using shotguns on horde nights. Purely because shotgun ammo, well shotguns is like my raiding weapon. So having ammo for that for my regular life is probably the smarter way to do it. I don't have a spec into AKs at all. I don't really need to between the bombs and just having enough. Oh my God, having enough ammo. And that is why 
I didn't want to use. Fuck me. I'm infected and got a sprained ankle. You dick cheese. That is why I didn't want to use a shotgun during Horde Night because it breaks the fucking building. Um. All right. Well, I've got honey in here. Samuels will hold this down for a second while I sort my life out, please. That'll fix my infection. My abrasion can get done with a first aid bando. I've got some health bars back at home to halve the time that's going to be done. How the fuck did you get up here? Did you, like, manage to nail that gap and just make it in? I don't want to put bars up there or anything because then it's going to stop me throwing, like, pipe and stuff down there. I'm already a pretty bang average shot at that already. I don't know. I don't know what the counter that is. And they can squeeze through that tiny little gap and loop themselves up and just go on straight on through. What the shit am I supposed to do to stop that? Even without the pipe bombs, the um, the method to this madness is relatively straightforward. This aim flat block there, they either jump up and go around to the back of the head, or they just fall into the seeding mass of their fallen foes ahead of them. There's a carpet of zombies down there, and I'm more than happy to be a carpeter. Is that like a fancy name for someone who like handles rugs and carpet? I don't know, I haven't handled a rug in a very long time, so it's definitely not me, but I'd like to aspire to be one of those one day. Up you get. Kill you. You're a little bit on fire, but that's okay. I've had a bit of a brush with Arlene. That's fine. If you fall into a mass of bodies like that, how are you going to know which one has the Arlene disease and which one doesn't? It's all very quiet, actually. I'll repair you. Sammy's going to get the final kill for the Horde, I think. Ooh, hang on a second. Are my electric fences dead? I can't look at any of you to repair you, weirdly, which is kind of annoying, but it's not actually doing the whole... There we go. It's not doing... The zappy things that I want it to. But it's all quiet out there. I'll turn you off and I'll turn you off. Can I repair you now? Damn it! Wait, wait are you wood to start with? That's a little weird. Why can't I... Oh, I don't even know. I'll have to investigate that. I'm pretty sure that last little tickle that uh, Big Mama got there just didn't do what I wanted it to do. It didn't zap her. It just gave her a little bit of a nudge. You can all hang out in there. You can go there too. All of this is all going to hang out behind because now that we've done that. Yes, yes, I know. In fact, you can hang out there too. I've got more than enough back at home. That's fine. You can hang out there as well. Give me all my regular gubbins back. And while I'm thinking about it, got a skill point to spend. Could go, you know, try to get more demo. But instead, I'll spend that point on you. Extra lucky looter. We're a bee's dick away from next level up as well. Could almost taste it. Oh, there is the morning chime as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. All the way to that one. Quickly swap the gogs. We've got a little bit of time. So let's go and see what the uh, the zombies have brought us. Sammy, pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. You guys did wonderful jobs and I appreciate everything you've done for me. Right. Tier 5 Iron Shovel. Oh, that's a lot of loot bags down here. I am in the mood for some loot and food. I mean, all like the cans of food other than dog food, I'll just scrap for the iron because I'm a little bit peckish. So eat that one, scrap you, scrap the crossbow bolt, scrap the peas as well. I think the peas can be used to make some decent food, but nine brass trophies? All right, I'll scrap you for the brass, I suppose. I think the peas can be used to make some like good food down the road, but I've got meat stews and I'm fine with that. No need to concern myself too much about it. Take the ratchet. Come on. Just give me dog food. Give me dog food. It's <laughs> all books, actually. It's the one thing I'm missing. Please. Damn it. That's cat food. Oh, there we go. Tier 6 iron shovey. Anything tier 6 is a good day for me. Some more vitamins. Some more water. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. Was that the bombs that did that or the zombies? Thank God I did put some protection up there then. That may have... Ah, there we go. May have saved me life on the old electric fence, even though it did break eventually anyway. Couple of hundred dollar redos. Grab all the rest of it. It's almost 5 a.m. We're running out of time. More shotgun ammo. More shotgun ammo. T3 steel sledgy and a first aid kit. Some pipe bombs. Don't mind if I do. And... Another couple of hundred dollar reduce. All right, nice. I did get some uh, some actual tokens though. Eye candies. That's a lot of eye candies actually. Still no dog fruit in there, but I will take all of that. Got it for free basically. Nice. Okay, so I need to go. I think tomorrow I'll go and do, not the tier five, fetch it clear. I'll do the one up here because there is a hardened chest in that venue and I would like that. But I need to trudge myself home, drop all my shit off and prepare for another day. And then actually, before I go, 
break down the horde base, or break down parts of the horde base and do some upgrades to get it working even better the next time around. But I'll have to come back and do those upgrades and do that rating and get some more gubs in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.